Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. I've got something a little bit different uh, for you guys today. I'm going to be doing a product comparison to see which one tastes better. And uh, who just doesn't love uh, the sriracha sauce? Uh, sriracha chili sauce is very popular uh, right now. People just uh, love this stuff. It's kind of got a, a cult following. I think maybe 10 years ago, you know, over a decade ago, uh, if you were to mention sriracha, they would look at you crazy and think, what are you talking about? But everybody knows what this stuff is now. Uh, this is the original. This is the uh, uh, rooster sauce or cock sauce, if you prefer. Um, this is from Hoi Fong Foods, uh, based in Rosemead, California. I believe it's uh, very close to uh, Los Angeles. But I'm also going to be uh, looking at this other one here called uh, the Roland Sriracha Chili Sauce. I believe it's a company based in New York, but this is a, a product of China. And this is known as the Dragon Sauce. So we've got the rooster or the cock sauce going up against the dragon. So we're going to see which one, which one wins here. But a little bit of history about uh, Sriracha. This is a... Uh, it's still a privately owned company run by David Tran. He's about 68 years old now. He's the one that runs the company for uh, Hoi Fong Foods. And uh, it all started, uh, he was a, a major in the South Vietnamese Army. And when the North uh, Vietnamese uh, Communists started taking over the South, uh, and he fled with his family to Los Angeles in the late 70s. And he named his company that he started uh, Hoi Fong after a uh, Taiwanese freighter that got his family out of Vietnam. And uh, when he settled in the Los Angeles area in the late 70s, he could not find a, a hot sauce or he couldn't find a job, couldn't find a hot sauce that he liked. So he started making his own out of buckets and uh, selling it out of, the, out of his van, driving around to customers and selling it out of his van in the late 70s. But the company got started there in the 80s. Early on, suppliers told him that, uh, you know, you need to make your sauce a little bit sweeter. It's too hot. And he refused to do that. He says, it's a hot sauce. It's supposed to be hot. Use less of it. We're not making mayonnaise here. So he stuck to that um, all of these years. Last year, they sold 20 million bottles of this stuff. Over $60 million worth of product was sold last year. So just an incredible story. David Tran from uh, Hoi Fong Foods. Awesome story on this. Well, let's go ahead and uh, and check this out. I've used this. I've had this uh, for, this is a new bottle, but I've used this uh, before. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to taste it on a chicken and cheese taquito. So let's just go ahead and uh, first try this out. And before I do, let me go ahead and read the side of the bottle here. And I do this on each one of them. Uh, this is um, Sriracha Chili Sauce. Made from sun-ripened chilies, is ready to use in soups, sauces, pasta, pizza, hot dogs, hamburgers, chow mein, or on anything to add a delicious spicy taste. And the ingredients on the sriracha, the rooster, or the cock sauce, um, is, let's see here, uh, where was that at? Oh, here we go. Okay, it starts with chili, chilies, sugar, salt garlic, distilled vinegar, potassium sorbate, sodium bisulfite as preservatives, and xanthan gum. Now, the nutritional facts on this one, I'll just bring out the sodium. That That's the, the main thing here. Everything's the same on both of them except the sodium. Now, the sodium on the, the original sriracha sauce is 100 milligrams. So, let's go ahead and check this out once again. This is the original. And here we go. They say that the Scoville ratings on these sriracha sauces is, um, is around 2,000, 2,000, 3,000 Scoville units. Nice sweet flavor. Uh, it's not overly salty. You get a nice chili flavor, slightly sweet, um, beautiful color on this sauce. Um, but I've always liked this. It's got a great flavor to it. You taste the, those sun ripened chilies, the, a little bit of the sugar, the garlic. Um, but it's not overly salty at all, but a really great flavor on this one. You know, the sriracha sauces, they go good on just about anything. 
um, just straight up as a hot sauce, what you'd put a hot sauce on. They also go really well when you mix it with mayonnaise and use it as a spread for sandwiches. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. But uh, this is very good. I like this. But I have never tried this one. Uh, Roland Sriracha Chili Sauce. Never tried it. I've heard that some people like it better. So let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, the uh, sodium on this one is 125 milligrams. So 25 milligrams more of the sodium. Um, the side of the bottle here says Roland Sriracha is made from sun ripened chilies. It's ready to use in soups, sauces, pizza, pasta, hot dogs, hamburgers, chow mein, or on anything to add a delicious spicy taste. Um, I think it's the same thing that this one says. So maybe they maybe they stole that. Um, now the ingredients on this one: chilies, sugar, garlic, salt, water, acetic acid, lactic acid, xanthan gum, citric acid, potassium sorbate as a preservative, ascorbic acid. Now, other than this one, the original so sriracha sauce does say distilled vinegar. This one says the acids. Uh, the only other difference I can see. Other than the basic ingredients, chili, sugar, garlic, and salt, and water, is that the garlic is moved up before the salt in this one. So once again, on this Rollins, we have chili, sugar, garlic, and on the original one, we have chili, sugar, salt, garlic. So garlic a little moved down um, in the original so sriracha sauce, and on Rollins, moved up a little bit. So let's go ahead and check this one out. Once again, I've never tried this one. Looks just about the same. I'm going to drink a little bit of water here to clean my palate. Okay, here we go. I can say right off the bat, this is the winner. Um, what I like, what I don't like about this one is that it just has a, I don't know, there's something about it. It has a, a funnier taste. Um, this one has more of a true fresh uh, chili taste with um, sweetness and garlic. <clears throat> there's just something about this one. It, this one seems, I think, a little bit more sweet um, and uh, possibly more garlicky, garlicky, that that's not a bad thing, but there's just something about the initial chili taste that I don't like as much as this one. So the winner is the rooster sauce or the cock sauce, the original from Hoi Fong Foods. All right. Once again, this is Roland's Sriracha Chili Sauce. You can't find this one uh, very uh, at very many places as much as you can the sriracha sauce. All right, everybody. You can find this a lot of different places. Okay, hope you enjoyed this review. Sorry it went a bit a little bit long, but I wanted to do that comparison for you guys. So until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you later.